Who were the Luddites? The Luddites were a group of early 19th century English workers who became famous for their protests against the rapid industrialization that was sweeping through the country. They were skilled artisans, particularly in the textile industry, and their livelihoods were being threatened by the introduction of new machinery. These machines allowed manufacturers to produce goods more quickly and cheaply, but at the cost of displacing many workers who had spent years honing their craft. The Luddites took their name from a fictional character known as Ned Ludd. According to legend, Ned Ludd was a weaver who in a fit of rage smashed two stocking frames, the machines used in the knitting industry. The story goes that Ludd lived in Sherwood Forest like the legendary outlaw Robin Hood. Over time, Ned Ludd became a symbolic figure representing the frustration and anger of workers who felt powerless against the forces of industrialization. When the Luddites wrote letters to factory owners, they often did so under the pen name Ned Ludd, as if he were their leader and protector. The Luddites movement was not just a spontaneous outburst of violence, it was a well-organized and coordinated effort. The Luddites would gather in secret, plan their actions, and then strike against factories that were using the new machinery. They would break into these factories at night, smashing the machines that they believed were destroying their way of life. The Luddites weren't just attacking machines, they were fighting to preserve their communities and the dignity of their labor. Their cause even attracted the attention of prominent figures, including the famous poet, Lord Byron. In his first speech to the House of Lords in 1812, Byron defended the Luddites, arguing that they were honest and industrious people who had been driven to violence by the most unparalleled distress. He pointed out that these workers were not naturally inclined to riot, but were pushed to the brink by the economic hardships they faced. Byron's speech was a rare moment of sympathy for the Luddites in a political climate that was largely hostile to their cause. The British government, however, saw the Luddite movement as a serious threat. The Industrial Revolution was transforming the economy and any resistance to this change was viewed as dangerous. To suppress the Luddite uprisings, the government passed a series of harsh laws. One of the most severe was making machine breaking a capital offence. This meant that anyone caught destroying machinery could be sentenced to death. The government also deployed a massive military force to put down the Luddite rebellion. Despite the heavy-handed response, the Luddites continued their fight for several years. However, eventually began to lose momentum as the government crackdown intensified. Many Luddites were arrested, tried and faced brutal punishments. Some were executed, while hundreds of others were transported to Australia as convicts, exiled from their homeland for their role in the movement. In the end, the Luddite rebellion was suppressed, but their struggle left a lasting legacy. The Luddites are often remembered as symbols of resistance to the dehumanizing effects of industrialization. Their story is a reminder of the social costs that can accompany technological progress and the importance of considering the impact of innovation on people's lives. While the machines they fought against ultimately became a permanent fixture in the economy, the questions they raised about fairness, dignity and the rights of workers continue to resonate today. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more on a wide variety of interesting topics, then like, comment and subscribe.